Okay, so check it out. Today, I'm rocking three amps. Really, really cheap ones. Uh, not a lot really invested in the setup here. Honestly, I think by themselves, a lot of people would probably say that, you know, they don't sound the greatest, but, you know, when you use them kind of strategically, you know, something different happens. And I'll just kind of go through and show you what each one sounds like. They're, they're kind of set up differently. Uh, the Gorilla right here, it's more or less got the, the high end, a little bit of low end. This obviously is a bass amp and has tons of low end. And, you know, uh, kind of the Senji bass highs. And we got a very small jazz chorus here with two five inch speakers. Um, kind of limited options on this one. Um, this one, I tend to almost set this one up sort of, um, sort of lo-fi, but yeah, when you get all three of these leveled out and you've got them all kind of doing their jobs, you know, when you use them together, it actually sounds really nice. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of using this, uh, just straight up bare bones turbo distortion and, you know, this, this switcher right here for the amps. So... Now I'll go ahead and show you what they all sound like, and um, I'll show you what the chorusing sounds like on the, uh, the jazz chorus too while I'm at it. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, here's what the jazz chorus sounds like by itself. what the bass amp sounds like by itself. And here's what the other guitar amp sounds like. So, we'll start with the jazz chorus and the bass amp for reference by itself. Now with the bass amp. bad and finally to top it off we'll throw some highs in there uh, with the other guitar amp <clears throat> Go ahead and throw on the chorus, and we'll see what that does to it.
I think that sounds pretty unique and interesting, but we'll see how it turned out. Uh, you guys get the picture. It's pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, cool sounds. Happy Saturday.